the show. It's your boy Mahesh Chocolingo and who knows what. Mahesh and friends. Though I don't have any friends right now, but at some point I will. And speak to the audience. And um, maybe share some of my, my stuff. Uh, today I wanted to share one of my favorite artists. And the reason I like this artist, his name is Tom McDonald. And he's an independent artist. Some of you may not like hip hop. Some of you may not like rap at all. But the reason I like him is because he's conscious about what he does. You know, uh, hold on. I just got a text message here from one of my friends I was telling you about. See what he wants. Uh, it's unlocked now. Okay, cool. Let me wrap up. YouTube video. Then I'll head there. Soon. All right, so I'm going to cut this short, guys. I uh, I am actually a technician slash IT slash data analyst slash production studio, whatever the heck. I am everything, man. I'm like my own little Leonardo da Vinci. And we all are. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to claim that I am anything special because believe me, I f far from see myself as that. I see myself as just a regular dude, man, who just trying everything life have to offer, you know? Uh, that's my little reggae tune day. So that's, that's how I got started in this whole thing, you know, man? But yeah, I like them vibes. But this next video I'm going to share with you guys um, is not reggae at all. It's hip hop. And this guy, his name is Tom McDonald. Uh, he got started as an independent artist and he started making a lot of controversial, um, a lot of controversial music, right? And I like that. I like music that pushes the boundaries and pushes the narrative to the edge and gets people to think. I just in general like anything that makes people think and question any narrative. Because as a society, as a free society, truly free society, we need to embrace and welcome diversity in thought and in speech, whether we like it or not. Okay? So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started with this guy. Yeah, man. All right, so let me switch over to that screen. I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. Tell them I'm sorry. I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. I can talk about how rich I am, all these little rappers that I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had, how the liquor turned me to a different man. man. I'm not the kid who was visiting Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian, have a sinner's past, but I sobered up, prescriptions hit the trash. Now. Okay, I like this guy's story, and he basically just tells his whole life story in this song. He, he This guy was an alcoholic, drug addict, uh, homeless, I mean, you name it, down in the dumps. And he dug himself up from the dirt, just like me, just like I'm an entrepreneur and I always trying to figure out how to get something going. This guy found his niche and he took off like a jet plane and started flying. And he's independent. He's not signed to a record label and he have his own bragging rights. I give him that. That's why I like him. Right. And I suffer with not me, but I have people in my family who suffer with alcohol addiction and other types of addictions. I, I have my own type of addictions. Don't get me wrong. We all do. But it's it's devastating when you have to deal with it in your own family. All of us have it, right? And for me, when I see guys like this uh, rise to the top, it gives me hope and inspiration that all sinners have a path to sainthood. You know, so let's go ahead and listen to the song. The man's swinging right out of the gate, you know. But uh, let's, I'll just let it play for a little while and then I'll probably stop for a second because YouTube will um, 
hit me for copyright if I don't do that. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars and a million fans. Middle fingers flipping, I can't flip them back. I'm so independent, so they get the message. I've been spitting facts, I'm not a fiction fan. I am the truth, I am the goat, I am the proof. You can reach every one of your goals. You can be too drunk, way too high, but it's never too late to have hope. I am the one, I'm gonna preach. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire world and you can beat them if you just believe. They've been saying I'm Illuminati and I'm going to hell. They're desperately searching for any excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim I worship Satan and labels of health. I don't have an advantage. It's natural talent. Your ego is damaged. Admit that you failed. I remember back when I was the only political rapper. What the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Tragic. I should be flattered. Man, I created the genre. They practically jacked it. Acting like they're in the conversation. They ain't nowhere near it on a different planet. This is not YouTube. This is upper echelon. I'm president of Sony, I'm a telephone I get what I want, how I want, when I want Until the day that I'm dead and gone The internet in love with beef, they want rappers at war But I don't care who's coming at me I swore that I wouldn't do this is no more The last time I back Hey, okay, hey, let me uh Hold on, let me fix this This display capture here real quick This is on the wrong screen All Right So Guys What he's addressing in his song is everything that's happening right now in the culture, right? And and I'm thank God we are waking up, right? We are waking up right now where that's why he took off because on the underbelly of America, the, the your American regardless of what race or ethnic background you are, there's a lot of us walking around feeling like what they call black culture is not really black culture. Think about it. Right? The ghetto pimp uh, drug addicts, uh, gang members, gang banging. That's a persona of hip hop that was created to keep black people mentally down. You understand what I'm saying? Like, why, why aren't they, why isn't there music or culture that's uplifting and promoting the advancement of the black community in the sense that we shouldn't just be popping our booty or shaking it? To, that shouldn't be like what you highlight as black culture. Black culture was like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, right? Uh, all these great people in history who have done so much for Marcus Garvey, Bob Marley, you know, like all these people who fought for true freedom and justice for African, for the African community, the black community, the ethnic communities around the world. That was black culture. And then all of a sudden, somewhere around the early 90s, when gangster rap came in, you started seeing like this degradation of culture to sort of like put the black mentality down to like a very baseline level of animalistic culture almost. And it became normalized that that was what black culture was. And so now there's a reawakening or a rediscovery, you know, ever since you got people like Billy Carson coming out and talking about ancient Egypt and the Anunnaki and, and the fact that the nose was broken off of the Sphinx to, to hide the fact that the black culture was, was an intelligent advanced culture at that time. Built civilizations, mathematics, astrology, right? Listen, human beings in general will all everything if you look at the matrix or you look at the way the world is constructed everything is designed to keep us separated and fighting each other right but if you're smart if you really are able to meditate on this and stop and think for a second now i'm going a little off track from tom mcdonald but everything he's saying is tapping into the, the reality of the, the awakening that's taking place, the revolution that's happening in the culture. It's his own experience. He's talking about his trials and tribulations and challenges like we all have, right? All of us face it, right? And he just wrapped it up in his song and put it in there because he's been facing his own level of persecution. Guys, trust me, ever since COVID happened, I experienced it. I was like, whoa, we better wake up because people are using uh, chaos and mayhem Civilization is a fragile thing. Civilization is fragile, guys. You have to be aware of that. Be conscious of it, all right? And humanity is making a shift from one level of consciousness into a new emerging level of consciousness that's amazing. We're living in an amazing time, guys, right? I was just watching this podcast from Joe Rogan 
uh, a few nights ago where this one guy forgot his name uh, was telling Joe Rogan, he's like, if you were to take humanity in a book that was like 800 pages long uh, and look at it, you would see that all 780 pages, roughly, is just human beings on Earth doing the same thing. Fucking, uh, eating, hunting, gathering, uh, building towns, villages, uh, just being humans, right? Just being very primitive old humans doing... And then at the very last edge of our civilization, we blew up. Like, we got robots, we got AI, we have so much amazing stuff. We're, we're developing methods of cloning and possibly transferring consciousness to another body or avatar if we want to. Like, you guys, you don't understand. Like, we're on the cusp of that. And so there's a war going on right now for your mind because the largest resource on planet Earth is not gold and silver and minerals and all that stuff. It's your mind, our minds. And so that's what we're facing right now. So it all starts with culture. The revolution is cultural and spiritual. They're all connected. They're all different layers of the same cake or pie, if you will. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and play Tom McDonald. But again, I have to keep stopping it because YouTube keep hitting hit me with a lot of violations if I don't do this. So I have to alter its original. But if you want to watch the full song, but I just wanted to stop that to add that little piece in the song but i'll let the rest i hopefully i could get away with letting the rest of it play battled the man that i trampled lost his career and then had a divorce my telephone i get what i want how i want when i want until the day that i'm dead and gone the internet in love with beef they want rappers at war but i don't That's care who's true. coming at me i swore that i wouldn't do this no more the last time i battled the man that i trampled lost his career and then had a divorce that wasn't fair homie got torched i feel the weight like i'm carrying around a corpse still no deal still no team still just little old me still making fun of the whole industry still rap on my own beats i'm the only multi-millionaire in my family tree I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich and that's how I got in the lead. That's a big L-I-E. If you want to know the truth, I guess I can show you why I move like this. Let me take you back into my head. Tell you about the movie I live. Former alcoholic, nothing in my wallet. Every doctor said that I was depressed. Should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard box and addicted to meth. I was sleeping on my best friend couch. I was dreaming of a West End house. We was living in the basement, sweet east side, brain. we get out. Motorcycles on the front lawn, bunch of crackheads in the alley. Open up my bedroom window and tell them there's empty bottles they can have. Cops at the door, I couldn't sleep. Making up noodles to eat for a week. I couldn't stomach the food I was making if I wasn't high, so I always had weed. Leaving the crib and the neighbors are tripping. I flip them the bird, I ain't stopping to talk. They leaving us notes on the passenger window because we always park in the whip and they spot. 10 in the morning, we sipping our 40s and taking the Honda Civic up the block. Looking for one of my homies who living on the street because he got addicted to rocks. Waiting in line at church, they giving out food. I would pull up every second Sunday, get some hard old eggs and juice. That was the move. I was a broke boy, then I blew up. I was suicidal, yeah, the mood sucked. Now I've been rich, I done made hits. I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now that I've blown up, they're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never going to be the old Tom or recapture the magic of old songs. I don't know, Tom. You the yeah. goat, Tom. Give me what I want or I will go, Tom. Shut up! I'm not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb. Always getting drunk, taking hella drugs, living in the ghetto, no food for a month. Couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels, mold, and hella bugs. That was the old time. That was broke time. Stop saying you miss who I was. Now you can give me all the Gucci, give me all the Louis, give me everything I wanted once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have to be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere, I ain't stopping nothing, I'ma really go there, I don't give a... I'm the best thing going right now, they can't mess with me. I've been up, I've been down, I climbed out my grave, I've been great. Wait, before today. Some people criticize and hate this egotistical aspect of hip hop, but this is an important aspect. And I, at the end of this video, I'll tell you why this is important because this is the secret to manifesting. This is the secret to creating the life you want. And this is the secret to battle the spiritual evils that are circling us right now on this planet. And I, I, I'll get to that in a minute, but let's let's go ahead and play this out because this is pretty, this is, I love Tom McDonald, dude. I just want to say that because I get, the pause on my skin raises every time. This is what I listen to on my way to work is his music, right? If you look 
you looking for something to galvanize you and get you pumped up and ready to take on the world and be motivated and to live and to push forward, I recommend Tom McDonald. 100%. All right, let's go. Yeah, and I'll be great till I decide to walk. Hey, I've been up, I've been down, I climbed out my grave. I'll be great. Wait, before today, and I'll be great till I decide to walk away. One you have to thank for every independent artist getting billboard plaques I showed everybody how to beat the record labels and still I don't get no thanks Everybody who been hating on me copies every little thing I'm doing I mean they dress like me, sign CDs, no one is buying their music I'm the blueprint for these YouTube kids Every single little view you get Every time you get an iTunes check You just imitate what I do best I'm on Fox News, I'm on Rolling Stone In the New York Times, on the radio Got a billion views, Milly on the gram You still paying to be verified, man I am the reason that Billboard removed all the digital sales charts off their website I was outperforming label artists and executives Pressured them to hit the red light Universal, Warner Music, Sony, CEOs wanted me dead But they ain't never gonna really kill me They just canceled the digital charts instead Stop telling me that anyone else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the biggest I am? They're angry that I love America. Guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian. I live in the States. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am not faking this. I don't need to keep on making hits. Could have retired three years ago, basically. Go check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for this. I am only doing this because I love it. I told every record label they can shove it. Rappers hate on me, but I'm above it. 93 Shawn Michaels, everyone can suck it. They want photos when they see me out in public. Then they trash me in the Comments, what a bummer. I sign autographs and spill my guts and stomach. All I get is people praying that I'll plummet. I came a long way, dreamt of this all day. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith, what a loser. I needed boost to maneuver. Bottles of hooch in the cooler. Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and regroup and pursue a future, be a ruler. Screw all the rumors that all the dudes will be acting stupid on computers. Hate is a fuel that humans can use to improve themselves if they don't let their wounds ruin, they move it. You can do it and then you can lose it. You can choose to view it through some different pupils. You can shoot for the moon if you miss it, recoup it, and then execute it till you make it through it. There ain't no excuses, the rules are confusing, so break them and use them to find the solution. The truth is you're losing till you are immune and you turn the abuse into your revolution. I've been addicted to plenty of pills, poor and mentally ill. If I can do it, you can do it. I went from homeless and drunk to turning down record deals. I done got so many wins that I forget the wins. So many plaques inside the crib, they're getting hard to live. They so jealous, I'm just glad that I ain't them. They got, I ain't them. They got money, they got pennies, they got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds, they got thousands, I got He's 10, 11, 15, 20 something names. But this ain't always what my life was like. Honestly, it still give me chills Way before all of my viral songs Before I was living in Beverly Hills Way before I went and sobered up Back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills Way back when I should have been locked up Overdosed or getting killed My sister called me from the hospital Said her job's killing her and that was a fact She working overtime often, out of options Having panic attacks Didn't let her finish talking Told her walk in and to quit and call back Next thing I know she's in California And she's working for Hangover Gang And daddy always told me I was special And one day I would conquer the music business and I guess he was right, cause look at my life I just bought him a new Porsche for Christmas And mama worked harder than any woman on earth Her boss would have never have fired her I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth So I retired her This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust fund This ain't good luck, this ain't silver spoon This is hard work, this is long nights This is all me, this is what I do This is palm trees and Ferraris And a calm breeze and a pretty view If you don't believe I deserve it Then you never lived the life I did And you wouldn't make it through I came out of a city where I still don't get no respect I moved away and I blew up And everyone else is so stuck in the town that I left I'm not impressed And they've been saying my video views are all fake And I honestly hope it helps get them some rest I'm worth like 30 million mother dollars All you bums are living check to check Now everybody is an enemy They all jealous that I'm a celebrity Well screw them, screw the government Screw the record label, screw the mainstream I'm in God mode, they in beast mode We are not the same, we ain't equals And I pray to God that you can deep throat Got 11 inches for you weak hoes Y'all cannot critique me, y'all ain't in my league still All your hate completes me, I can't be killed Y'all just wanna be me, maybe be chill Leave them bleeding in a wheat field All my missiles heat seek, you can beat me Homie, keep still, I can tell that you don't eat me Ton of green beans, you a vegan when the beef's real Everybody's saying I'm fake But they're the ones who really faking though And their song's all on YouTube Well, my song's on the radio They claim they hate fame But they change when they need streams Then they say names and play games And take aim and hate on me Wait, I got one more thing I gotta say I don't need any more money, these days I just do it for all of my fans I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can I'ma keep going till I'm in the coffin, I promise no stopping till I kick the can To the day that they're dropping my box in the ground, it's hangover gang <laughs> Nice Well done Well done I will say
Tom McDonald, you keep smashing it out of the park. God mode. And um, uh, this is where I give my commentary now. I mean, I know I kept interrupting, but again, that's also because of the YouTube uh, uh, situation. I hope they don't uh, get me for... Yeah, I'm going to give you a like for that, man. Dude, I love Tom McDonald. Uh, I always resonated with him from, from day one, you know? And... Um, yeah, guys. Uh, so my commentary, I think it was a great, uh, <laughs> I mean, let me go ahead and uh, get my little vibes going in the background here. You know? Yeah, guys. Tom McDonald, man. God mode. Now, the, the thing I wanted to say to to that song was the whole song was basically him expressing his experience his tribulation his challenges he went through life right for those of you who are not fans of hip-hop or couldn't follow the lyrics basically he was telling his story from beginning to end and expressing his passion and telling everybody look look hate on me all you want talk bad about me all you want send me all the mud slinging shit that you want and what I want people to understand is like, you need to embrace life and take life head on in the same manner, right? You need to see yourself as a warrior, a spiritual warrior in this life. I want to tell you guys something. A lot of us could relate to those moments in your past when you were suicidal or you weren't feeling good or you didn't like yourself, or you didn't feel adequate, or you didn't feel good enough, or you didn't have family members who were supportive, or you didn't have good comments on the socials or whatever, and you felt like giving up. But you need to learn to develop a callous, a thick skin. You need to learn to let things that may seem negative, embrace it as an opportunity to build yourself up. We need to learn how to let things run off you like water off a duck's back, right? At the end of the day, we all come here to get the maximum experience we could get out of this life. And everything that happens to us is an opportunity for growth. But we have to be willing to see it in that way. Even the things that hurt you the most. I have had my share of experiences leading up to today. Of things that were hurtful and painful and I still carry them and three o'clock in the morning you're sitting down in that bed and those thoughts pop into your brain and you can't help but think about all the things that your whole life that you've been learning and experiencing and sometimes you wish you could go back and change it or do it different but you can't you have to learn to accept it and use it to build upon your character your persona and, and just go out into the world and, and, and do the best you can, right? And why do we do it? Why do we do it? I love how at the end of Tom McDonald's song, he said, this is why I do what I do. So that I could retire my family. That's what motivates him. Maybe for you, it's because you want to spend more time with your kids, or maybe it's because you want to travel the world, or maybe it's you want to start your own business, or maybe it's you want to have the more, f more freedom to do things that you've always wanted to do. Whatever that case is, you have to find the why. You need to find that why do you get up every morning and do what you do? Why do you get up and go hard and hit that gym and get to work and make that small money and that small paycheck? Why do you try so much and sacrifice so much? You need to latch on to that why, guys. Find your why. Okay? I'm telling you because I'm speaking from experience. I have my days where I get up and I think, I don't know, man. I don't think I could make it. I don't think I could go another day. And I start looking at uh, ways out. I start thinking maybe I should just get rid of all my stuff, my possessions, and go live in the, in the forest somewhere. That's a very appealing thought to me, man. Fly back to Trinidad and just go and live, be a beach bum. Get rid of all responsibilities because sometimes you're surrounded by situations that make you feel like, why am I doing all of this? I get no thanks, I get no gratitude. But then you have to stop 
and remember that is you you have to have the gratitude you have to be the one to be thankful and say thank you lord for giving me the energy and the zeal and the vibrancy thank you lord for showing me that everything have a lesson in it thank you lord for giving me the opportunity to wake up today to do something and get something done productive creative and to learn from all the lessons you throw in at me every day lord right i'm not a religious guy don't get me wrong i don't participate in catholicism and hinduism and all i take a little from everything because as much as religion gets a bad rap right now you have to understand that it has been corrupted over centuries of politicians and people with greed and looking for land they have infiltrated religious organizations and turned it into a weapon of mass delusion and destroyed its true essence but if you dig deep under the surface what do all religions at the end of the day try to teach us which is compassion love giving right uh discipline right consistency those are all things that religions positively have to offer regardless of whether you're muslim hindu buddhist christian pick one and then at the surface of that you get the corruption where people come in and they use it to manipulate killing other human beings and that's where religion gets a bad rap but we are now transitioning into a new era a new world where the world is super connected with this global computer system called the internet and now with the introduction of ai that we are now faced with an opportunity to build a new world religion a new global unifying religion and my suspicion is it's going to incorporate everybody it's going to incorporate a little of everything that the world has to offer we're all going to take the good elements of every culture every religion and stitch it together and make one global unifying religion which is going to be amazing and it's going to help us trust me i have faith in our species and guys we are living through a spiritual war you gotta see it from that perspective you have to you need to take the time to understand what's going on don't let things feed your mind listen every day you wake up you are being bombarded with information information on buying the latest clothes the latest gadgets the latest technology the latest beer latest drinks whatever the case is then you go out on your lime and you hang out with your friends and then they want to infiltrate your mind and tell you to do what they're doing and so the story keeps going then your parents then the community and then the society everything is always constantly trying to infiltrate your brain this is why meditation solitude time alone is important see the spiritual people have it right this is why they tell you you need to have a, a 20 minutes or an hour in your day where you turn off all technology all stimuli and be by yourself be alone take the time to be in silence and hear yourself and ask yourself every time you get a thought is that my thought is that truly how i feel about that situation or is somebody telling me to see it that way all right guys i got to wrap up i hope you like uh my little take on tom mcdonald's god mode and um i also injecting you with my thoughts here so I just want to say something to all of you before I go, right? I got I have work to do because I have to go by um I have a client that needs me to reboot their uh computer system right now. So I always on the move, always on the hustle. That's how we do, right? That's life. But I'm going to take these off because I'm going to stop here soon, but um it's important that we monitor the conversations we have with ourselves and i'm guilty of this too we all are the conversation of who am i what am i here to do what's my objective right and we all like to pretend we have the answers but the truth is none of us really do do we everybody have advice for you 
Everybody going to tell you, well, you know, if you do this and you do that and you get a four-year degree and you go to university and you do this thing and you do that, it's all nonsense. There's 101,000 different ways for you to arrive at your destination, right? All you need to do is have the intention and cultivate and develop the discipline and the focus and the ability and desire to learn and just go from there. Just start walking. Like I, when I started this podcast or the stream, I was telling you that when I started getting into social media and doing all this TikToking and Instagram and Facebook, and you'll find me on every platform, Truth Social, you name it, Rumble, I am there, right? I was peddling my way through. I didn't know a damn thing. I didn't pay for any courses. I just said, let me do it. And let me tell you, the criticisms that I have received in the last four or five years was disheartening, but motivational because it got me through. I just said, you know what? I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to just keep doing it. And at some point, it's going to click, right? So that's what I did. The conversation that I had in my head was, Keep going and you'll figure it out. Don't give up, brother. Nobody will know what to do. Everybody has something to tell you about what you should or shouldn't do. And it's funny, what I noticed over the years is the people who are the most afraid to take any actions in their own life and to initiate anything in their own lives are the first people to come to you to tell you what to do. And then I have to stop and go, wait a minute. The person giving me advice right now, what are they doing in their own lives right now? How are they handling their situation? And most of the times I would see that, oh, they're just talking because they're not taking action themselves. At least I have the courage to step forward and embarrass myself, make a fool of myself, fall down flat on my face, get back up, dust myself off and keep going. And for those comments that I get of people trolling, I don't really give any attention to trolls because at the end of the day, that person is just trolling themselves. I do, however, take uh, attention to the people who are sincere. I could tell the difference between a sincere comment and a troll. So I don't waste my time. And you, if you now getting started, you don't waste your time either. There's going to be trolls in your life. That's always going to be there. But I see a true value in trolls. Trolls help you to define yourself, to get more clear about what you want. So don't be afraid of trolls. Welcome them. It helps you get sharpened, right? Just like Tom McDonald's song, he was expressing his relationship and interaction with trolls. It fueled him. It gave him the fire to do what he did. And I loved how he ended his song. He ended his song showing about why he did what he did. He did it for the love of his art, his craft, the love of his fans, and the love of his family who he helped retire. That's my dream one day. I want to be so damn successful. I'm going to be so damn successful that I'm going to be able to retire my mother to help my siblings and cousins and families to build businesses and help everyone flourish and rise up. That's my goal. That's my why. My nieces and nephews to have something they could look up to and say, wow, that's ours. We all belong to that thing. And this is how every one of you should be thinking when you wake up in the morning. Regardless of how shitty things might seem. The other day I was talking to my sister. And um, I, was, I had reached out to her to help me with a situation where there's somebody who wants to move to Florida. And uh, I asked if she could talk to this person or whatever because they're interested in real estate. And the first thing out of her mind, out of her mouth was... I'm not a successful real estate person and I really don't see how I could help. And I had to stop and say, listen, that is your first mistake. You cannot speak that way because you're shooting yourself in the foot. You need to be able to look within yourself and say, whoa, stop. I just created my reality by my words. What you should have said and what I encourage every one of you to do is to go inside yourself and say, Sure, I'll be happy to help. I'll be happy to give my opinion or my two cents. There was no need for her to go inside herself and say that about herself. Because what she didn't realize is by her doing that, 
she has put an entire roadblock in her path. Two things that tells me, either she's not seriously passionate about what she's doing, or she sees herself in a very low place within herself, which is also a problem. We all struggle with this. I'm guilty of it too, but I catch myself. It takes practice to catch yourself. I walk around and I go everywhere and I enter the room. I'm a filmmaker. I'm a vlogger. I'm a podcaster. I'm not big time. I have no views. Right now I'm looking at my stream. I got zero views, but I'm doing it because I love it. I'm passionate about it. I'm enjoying this. I'm having fun doing this, right? And I see myself in my head as a successful, I see myself at the same level as Joe Rogan. I'm going to say that, right? It's not true in the moment, but you have to have an image in your mind that you're trying to attain or get to, to work towards, right? You have to, you have to stop belittling yourself and seeing yourself as not good enough or insignificant because the longer you carry that image of you not being good enough or not being capable or able to do something, that's the longer you're going to have that roadblock in your life. Stop it. Just stop. Just walk in there with the confidence that I am giving it everything I have with the grace of God, the universe, whatever religion or deity or, or vision you have in your mind of a higher force that's beyond you. Surrender to it and say, look, I know you're going to guide me through this. I know you're going to help me. I know you're going to guide me to do what I need to do to help the people I need to help and to receive the help I need to receive. And believe me, guys, the minute you give it to a higher cause or power, things just start falling into place for you, okay? Just start wherever you are in your life and work your way up. Interact with all the people you need to interact with and help as best as you can. You don't have to be an expert. You don't need to be, you know, a freaking Tony Robbins. Just give from where you're at and just let the laws of the universe mold the situation and navigate you through like a ship sailing across the rough seas, right? We are all sailing across our own rough seas of frequencies and sound and interactions and collisions and just go with it. Life is to live, people. I hope this inspires you. I hope this uplifts you. I hope this changes your perspective and how you speak about yourself. Because guys, none of us, look, ask any professional out there, where did, where did they start? Denzel Washington didn't know he was going to be an actor. Go look up his story. A lot of people who you see as the greats of today, they didn't start where they're at. They came from zero. The, whether it's a top salesman, whatever it is, you need to be willing to just throw yourself in and face the battle and the fears of being rejected and beaten down and made fun of and laughed at and get up, put a smile on and say, I'm going to keep doing this because I'm going to get it. Sooner or later, I'm going to get it. I'm going to figure it out. Right, guys? All right. Like I said, I don't know who I am. I'm not here. I'm, I'm just a dude on the internet, just expressing to you my opinion about something, right? Whether this gets to anybody or not, that's okay. I'm doing the best that I can do right now. And I see myself going far and beyond in my head. That's the image I hold. Sitting in front of some of the top names, I hope to sit in front of some really influential people in Trinidad and Tobago, in Venezuela, around the world, in India, wherever I travel, and talk to some really amazing people with amazing stories that I can share with you. People like Tom McDonald. Ooh, that would be a dream come true for me to be able to do a podcast with Tom McDonald. I mean, amazing. All right, guys. God bless. I wish you all the best. Have love and compassion for yourself. And stop speaking with your tongue things that are going to put roadblocks in your life. This goes for me as well. I'm going to hold myself accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And tell your dreams to the people closest to you who you trust and they will help hold you accountable. Thanks, guys.
All right, I'm gonna close out. Yeah, I'm on.